Hi, this is Monica Burns with Moroli Design Services. This is a short tutorial on how to change out your cover on Goodreads for a new cover. So let's get started. The first thing you do is you have to make sure that you're on the correct, the latest edition of the book itself. I happen to know that this is the edition that I want to actually make a change to, but if I wasn't sure, I would go down here and I would check these particular editions and I would switch to the correct one. Now that I'm certain that I have the correct uh, edition and I want to change this cover, I'm going to scroll down to add an alternate cover edition. When I click the link, it's going to ask me with this little scary message that, are you sure you want to create a new edition with all this copied information? You want to tell it, okay. It creates a whole new page for you with all the content from here on this particular edition to this new book page, this brand new edition that you're creating. You can see that the title, um, ISBN, blurb, everything is the exact same as it is on this particular edition. The only difference is, is that it's missing an actual book cover. In order to add the book cover here, you're gonna go in and choose a file. Make sure you choose the highest resolution file select it and click open. It will show the actual file name here. And since you've chosen it, the next thing you need to do is click upload photo. Once this photo is uploaded, you want to make sure that any changes you want to make here, you can do so at this time. You can make changes to the characters, uh, settings, etc. But anything changes that you make have to be recorded here in the change comment. Basically what you have to do is just type in uh, changed cover and then you'll click save changes. Send you back here to um, the edition that you've just created. And so your new cover is now going to be showing up here. Obviously mine isn't because this is a fake edition, but you'll go from this to this. Now that you've switched out your covers, you're probably going to want to make it so that readers, when they type in a search for the title, that they see the new cover. And in order to do that, you want to scroll down again here on the book page. You want to click Edit Details. You're going to scroll down this set of options here, and you're going to click Set This Book as the Primary Edition for this work. It'll give you a message that now this particular edition of the book is the work's primary edition. If for some reason you made the wrong edition, the primary work, all you have to do is scroll down here and where it says clear manual settings, if you click on it, it will then say that it has been cleared. So you want to make sure that you're actually on the correct edition before you make any of these changes. Some authors have indicated that for some reason their particular cover doesn't stay set as the primary work. I've not had that happen to me, but it's just something to keep in the back of your mind. That's all there is to it. You want to create a alternate cover edition. There'll be the add a new photo. You'll want, you want to do the upload uh, the file, then click choose photo. And you'll want to go down and indicate here in this change comment box that you just change the, change the cover and then you'll save the changes. And then it will drop you back into the book page with the new book cover showing. And then if you click edit details and scroll down, you'll be able to make the book the primary edition of the work. As you can see, it's already been done here, but I just did a quick overview. So that's all there is to changing out a cover. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can contact me at Maroli Design Services at gmail.com or you can visit my website, MarolliDesignServices.com and use the contact form there and I'm happy to help if I can answer any kind of questions that you have. Thanks for watching.